Acts chapter 12, verse 21. On an appointed day, Herod put on his robes, took his seat upon the throne and delivered an oration to them. And the people were shouting, the voice of a God and not of a man. Immediately, an angel of the Lord struck him down because he did not give God the glory. And he was eaten by worms and breathed his last. But the word of God increased and multiplied. What's going on, everyone? Grace and peace. Hope you're having a good day in the Lord. Today, we're going to talk about the Lord and his mighty power. And as I'm driving, I just want us to really consider this verse that I read in the book of Acts. You have Herod here who's being lifted up before the people as a God. And the Lord intervenes and says, not so. There's only one true living God. I want to encourage you today, brothers and sisters, to continue to look to that God, the God of the scriptures, the God of who says that there is none before me, there is none after me. The one who doesn't change is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That in spite of what we see taking place in our nation, despite what we see taking place in our community, in our churches, wherever, wherever you find yourself in today, the Lord is in control. The Lord is in control. And notice what the text says. Not only did the Lord strike this man down, he was a powerful man. He set himself up as a ruler. He set himself up as a God and the Lord struck him down. But then it says that the word of the Lord increased, that the people of God continue to increase and continue to grow and the kingdom of God continues to expand. See, so you can't stop God's work. You know, rulers and edicts and decrees and all these things will be set but God at an appointed time will say enough is enough so brothers and sisters rest your hope in that don't rest your hope merely on what you see merely on what you hear but rest your hope on what God has spoken on what God has written in his word because that my friends is our final authority that is where our comfort comes from. That is where our hope comes from. So I just want to encourage y'all with that. Take a look at Acts chapter 12, verses 20 through 24. Meditate on that today and think about our glorious God who rules and reigns over all. He's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. All right, y'all. Till next time, look to Christ, live wisely, and leave a legacy behind for generations to follow. Grace and peace, y'all.